Hello, welcome to my short tutorial on how ZBBlock can protect your PHP website. First, we have your server. Then, we have your PHP software you have installed on it. And the software subroutine files. Please note, we have marked one as exploitable. Now you might say that the software you have installed has no known exploits. But, you may have installed a mod or modification file that may not have been as thoroughly checked as the main software and is also compromised. This is common with some comment or one-liner scripts, but for the sake of this tutorial, we will leave it as a subroutine. Now, let's have a good client show up and use your site. The client connects to your site, and the PHP script execution then ensues. Everything is fine and dandy, and your user is very happy. Now, let's have a bad client show up and attack your site. The script kitty, who thinks himself a hacker, then connects to your site with his bad client or exploit toolkit. He then checks to see if you have possibly exploitable software with a casual but harmless serve. Let's say he thinks he's found an exploitable script. The next thing he does is bring an already compromised host into the picture, which your website will soon be. He connects, then he sends a probe script to the hostile remote server. He then connects back to your server and sends a command to the exploitable subroutine. That causes it to reach out to the hostile server and execute the code stored on it. And his session returns to him the result that it was successful. The skiddy then goes for the coup de grace and sends his script virus file to the remote server, sends a command to execute it through your server, which then copies the script from the remote host and places it in your web server. Now the script kitty connects to his program on your machine, and while he may not have complete control of the machine, he does have control over every bit of your website. He may decide you are unworthy and trash your whole site. You are now officially pwned. Now the skiddy will load your site with his choice of tools. He'll probably start by putting a copy of his remote probe on it. How about a nice email spammer? Hey, everybody loves a fake virus scanner that extorts money out of people with promises of infections that not only will never clean, but install for you. So he'll put up a page distributing that. His buddies want the latest games and pornography so he will probably set up a pirate file distro on your site too. Nothing like getting you to pay for the bandwidth. Oh well, yeah, he doesn't like your company because he feels that you destroy the environment and are threatening the rare humpback willow weasel due to your vocation in the Poconos. Or some other stupid reason, whatever the case, vendetta. So he will send all your visitors straight to your competitors. Or he may decide that he's had enough fun and wants to wipe out everything. In that case, he gives the script the final command and disconnects. And then... server is now a virtual smoking hole, but this hasn't happened yet. The birds are still singing and the sun is still out. Ah, your site again, but it still has that flaw you didn't know about. Let's install zbblock on it. Let's get it connected up to your .php files. 
PV block fuses into your PHP files with a hook, a single line of code that goes in at the very top of each file to be protected. It's okay to have it hooked into multiple files, as it will detect if it's run before on a connection, and if so, quickly skip itself. But those hooks sure look cluttery now that you have the idea, so let's remove them from the image. Now let's have a good client visit the site. As you can see, the user will see no difference. ZB Block adds nothing to the output of the session. Now let's have a bad client hit the site. ZB Block grabs a harmful session, logs the pertinent data, and then after a wait, kicks out the bad session with an error message. Some skiddies aren't too easily deterred though, so they will try to access the subroutine itself to cause the havoc. The script kitty sends his command to the subroutine. The subroutine passes it to ZB Block, which hasn't run yet, so it will do the inspection. And ZB Block kicks it out of the system, just like before. And there you go, two serious attacks, no harm, and ready for your next customer. This brings this tutorial to an end, and we hope it answers some questions about just what ZB Block does. Please don't forget, if you choose to install ZB Block, check our forums for updates and other information. Thanks for watching!